Three home runs in his last five games. Four home runs in his last eight games. Switch hitter from the left side, and first pitch pops it up very, very high to the left side, shallow left field. Shortstop cause has the best angle and makes the catch one step in foul territory. Two of his hits were against the guy at the plate. And Nolan Jones takes a cold strike off Tang back on June 5th. 0-1 is low for a ball. Evens the count at his last game with the Rockies. Here's the 1-1. Is driven in the air to center field. He went down to get that one. McCray's on the warning track and then makes the catch. I think the wind affected that. Righty on righty. And back a bouncing ball on the left side. Fielded by the shortstop. Cause throw to first is in time. And that is a five-pitch inning for Tang. Nice to numbers. First pitch to Montero is a fastball in there for rookie ball as they were trying to straighten him out. The 0 1 is low and away. His 1 1 pitch is fouled straight back. And this one's driven to right field. Solid contact. Racing back is Meckler going over. Won't get it. It's all the way to the wall, and Montero's going to coast into second base with a stand up double. Well, the wind. Was promoted to start the week from Double A Hartford, a left-handed hitter. And first pitch is a called strike. On the mound, a guy from Cuba at the plate who swings, ground ball right side. That's a base hit. Montero getting held at third. Meckler's throw comes into the cutoff and quickly throw back to first. It's off Fernandez's body and rolls out of play up the ramp. Montero gets home and Yankeel Fernandez will be pointed all the way to third base since it went out of play and it's 1-0 Isotopes. Well, they tried to throw behind Fernandez, who had taken the turn at first. Again, Montero had stopped at third. And the throw went right off the shoulder of Yankiel. And now the batter is Willie McIver. First pitch is hit in the air to left field. A line drive that's caught by Matos. Fernandez is tagging. He scores easily without a throw. That's a line drive. And Romo takes low and away for ball one. Just above the belt. 1-0 pitch is taken for a cold strike. Next pitch is on the ground. A base hit into right field. Sharply hit in the four hole. Romo took a wide turn at first and puts on the brakes. Meckler got it back in to see one driven in. Left-handed batter, first pitch is a slow roller, foul. It's up his lead a bit. Here's the pitch home. And it's fouled straight back. Had a good cut, just missed it. Hang is set, locked in on the catcher's glove. And then a throw over to first base. It's close, but back with the dive is Romo. Tell you what, that throw is hot. And then apply a tag. Brooks really good based on that last play. 0-2 is down and in. The one two to Levine. Checked his swing. Biggest gap in the outfield's right center. Rumble bluffs. Ground ball to the third baseman. Wilson fields, throws across his body to second. That's one over to first, not in time. Wasn't hit hard for the walk-off. Over to first base, and Levine's back with the standing up that time. He bunts this time. It's a good one to the third base side, and there will be no throw anywhere. Got Runners take their leads. Tang is set. And the first pitch. That one just clipped the outside corner for strike one. And slam walk off. 0-1 pitch. His ground ball up the middle. That is a base hit. It had eyes. It got past the two middle infielders. That'll score Levine. Jones hustles to second. Stopping at third is Stovall. It is 3-0 isotopes. That was the ultimate ground ball with eyes. Just past the pitcher's reach, just past the dive of the shortstop, just past the second baseman who was behind him. And then Jones with his speed hustled the second. He real Jones the batter. First pitch to the lefty. Takes inside the 1-0 pitch. That one's driven. Right center field gap this time. Nobody's going to get that one. That'll score Stovall. That'll score Greg Jones. And Nolan Jones stops at second. That's a two-run double. And that is a 5-0 isotopes lead. First pitch. 
And that is taken outside for ball. There's been a lot of swings early in the count. The 1-0, a swing and a miss. And now the third pitch to Beck in route. That's taken low, it's 2-1. Two. Two Beck swings and misses late on that two outs. Runner at second. Here's the pitch. That's low. And the count. Check second. Here's the payoff. A wave and a miss. Got him on a slider down and away, and that ends the inning. But what an inning for the Isotopes. Again, they sent nine batters to the plate. They scored five off Kaiwei Tang, who returns to the mound. First pitch is a fastball in there for a cold strike. Montero began the inning with a double, a low line drive over the right fielder's head. There were six total hits in the frame. The 0 1 pitch. A swing and a miss. Good location. The 0 2 is a little inside. That's a and the next pitch is fouled off to the first base side. Here's the pitch. That is low. And the 2 2 pitch is pulled down the left field line. Did he get enough of it? It is hooking toward the corner and it is out of here. Ella Reese Montero went down to get that pitch near his ankle. Keeps it fair, a home run, his 10th, it's six, nothing, isotopes. And now Yankeel Fernandez to the plate. He takes low and away for ball one. 1-0 one -oh pitch. Fernandez takes, home runs. They all count. 2-0 is chopped foul at the plate. Three doubles, a homer, and three singles. The 2-1 is pulled foul to the first base side and well out of play. The 2-2 from Tang is a chopper to the second baseman. Big hop for Walton. He's got it plenty of time. Throws to first for the out. One away. Left. A swing and a miss on the first pitch of this head bat. Kiver hitting an even 300 for the season. 0-1 up the middle, off the leg of the pitcher, and that's going to be an infield single for McIver. The ball kicked all the way over to third base. Wilson gloved it right next to the bag and had no play. So McIver's got a single. Catcher checking briefly to make sure that Tang's okay, gives a thumbs up sign. And now Drew Romo to the plate. Looked like it got the side of his foot and caromed pretty quickly right over to third base. So here's Drew Romo, switch hitter from the left side. Takes the first pitch, not behind the plate. The 1-0 is a liner in the right center field gap. That one's down for a base hit. That splits the outfielders. It goes all the way to the wall. McIver's heading for third. He's getting waved in. Romo wants a triple, and the ball gets away. He stopped at third, though, and cannot advance further. That's an RBI triple for Drew Romo, and that's now a 7. And the first pitch is driven very high in the air to center field. McCray's going back. At the edge of the warning track, he has room, makes the catch. Tagging at third is Romo. He jogs home to score. It's now 8 nothing. Topes on the Sacramento still ball with two outs, nobody on. He swings the first pitch, fouls it back. Righty on righty matchup, 0-1 pitch to Stovall. Is taken high. Tang the set, the 1-1 pitch. He's popped up behind home. Mask off for Arback, but he has no play. That one's well into the crowd. Here's the pitch. Takes outside and low. Now the latest pitch. And that's a chopper off the plate to the left side. Charging shortstop cause. And can't come up with it clean. Safe at first base is Stovall. Well, Christian Kaz knew that he's going to have to do it really quickly, try to barehand it. And the ball just didn't want to stick in the bare hand. He got a good hop. It was about waist high. 
And throw over to first base, and Stovall's back with a head first dive. Isotopes and River Cats played 928 runs. First one to Jones, hit in the air to left field. Room for Matos. Now comes in a few steps. He's got it in the side, is retired. But not before the Isotopes tack on three more runs. They do it on four hits, no errors, one left.